Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. I just saw the film yesterday. Okay. It okay. was incredible. As a Batman yeah. fan, I have to tell you that like yeah. it exceeded my expectations. It truly did. And I really I really loved your character because I feel like it's a character we haven't really seen. It's like a mainstream, especially a comic book movie. You know. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I wanna know where were you at and what were you doing when you got the call that you got the part? I was in the gym. Um <laughs> productive, okay. I like it. <laughs> I was in the gym. It was a late night session because I was in the middle of, um, uh, we had just opened for Color Girls and Off Broadway. Um, and uh, and I, yeah, I was in the gym. I had my phone on silent and I saw that my agents were calling and I didn't answer because I was like, eh, like that can probably wait. And they called again. Said, this must be important. And they told me, I literally almost dropped the dumbbell on my foot. Um, <laughs> Because I was shocked. Yeah. Reasonable I reaction. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about the audition, right? It was one of those things where you, as a young actor, for me, a lot of the auditioning process for me is just about making a good enough impression that people mm. want to invite me back. I don't necessarily, and or I didn't in the beginning necessarily anticipate booking, right? I felt like that's too much stress to put on if every audition I'm wanting to book this role, right? right. But I had forgotten about it. Um, and so when the whole team is on the call and they tell you and you're just like, I'm like, uh, wow, okay, great. What does this yeah. mean, you know? Um, yeah, that was a, it was a little surreal. That sounds incredible. And most of your scenes, or a good number of your scenes, you got to work with, uh, with Jeffrey Wright, who was like, mm -hmm a phenomenal you know one of the most phenomenal yeah. actors alive yeah. what was it like working with him oh it was awesome um because he's also just a wonderful human being and and then you get to see him at work um and I, again i'm because this is this is my first major big feature film i'm still learning on the job so i'm watching him watching how an expert works right on set and how he relates to the camera um, and what he's bringing. Um, and that just fed a lot of what I wanted to bring and how I wanted to relate. Um, and I had the pleasure to be able to watch him. Um, I'd even come on set when, you know, during quarantine when I wasn't working and just, you know, peek yeah. around. Picking up yeah. some notes and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got speaking of, you know, legendary phenomenal actors, Viola Davis, you have two upcoming projects. I mean, at this point, are you guys like BFFs? Like, are you guys just like, like super tight and cool? <laughs> Viola is, uh, I've, I've said this about her. Um, you know how people say, don't meet your heroes because yeah. they might disappoint you. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I first got on a Zoom call with her, I was super nervous. Um, and she is just everything that she ever presents herself to be. There's no facade, there's no none of it, right? And the also, the other amazing thing is I didn't feel like um, I was being spoken down to, mm. right? I feel like oftentimes there is naturally a, a hierarchy, right? Within the industry and as a young actor, I will welcome any advice or conversation, but she just always treated me like a peer. And that's, that was a little weird for me. Because yeah. I'm like, do you know who you are? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, but she's just a, she's a wonderful person. And my God, when you get in front of her and, 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 and she brings all of who she is as an actress, it is a force. Mm -hmm. um, you got to be, you know, 10 toes strong to be able to take that. Yeah. That's yeah. happy to hear. I'm happy to hear that she is, you know, as, as lovely as she seems. So, so that's great. Yeah. So, you know, being a part, being cast in a superhero project comes with like a lot of um, kind of toxic fandom and stuff like that. And a lot of, um, <laughs> you know, negative, 
people saying a lot of negative things online. Did you have to deal with any of that when your casting uh, was announced? Laugh. I don't know if that's a, I might, I don't know. I have a weird sense of humor, but I just found it funny, you know? Cause like, if that's what upsets you in life, yeah. okay, you know? Like there's bigger <laughs> things to worry about, yeah. yeah. Like some of the funnier things that I would see is um, when there was suspicion about who my character was, right? And yeah. people were throwing all different things on it before they ever announced mm -hmm. um, that I was a new character and I was playing the mayoral candidate. And you're just seeing why people were upset about stuff. You're just like, wow, all right, mm -hmm. that's you. I don't know what to say, you know. So me and my family we would laugh about it in the in the corner. Well, that's good. at least you have a sense of humor about it, because you know I know it does get pretty toxic. So, no, I don't I don't know them personally, so it's like it can't uh, it can't. Yeah. Affect it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Um, what what kind of pressure did you feel? I mean, Michelle Obama. Like, what kind of pressure is that? Like, is just speaking it? I feel pressure, kind of, you know, right. just thinking of it. So, uh, how did you prepare, and and what was that process like? Um, I scoured through her book, Becoming. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, like, if I showed you right now, <laughs> sitting up on my bookshelf, and it's just notes after notes, after, right? Um, because this is someone that is so beloved by so many, including myself and, you know, Viola even talked about, like, you can't mess her up. Mm. Like, you cannot. And um, I'm still nervous about it when it, you know, when it finally comes out. Um, but I would scour her book because I wanted to really un uh, get to the core of who she is. And also, uh, Michelle, when she wrote her book, there's no um, sense that she was ever deceiving anyone. Mm. So it felt like she offered up so much of herself that I was able to really start to connect some dots and, and relate to her. Um, so yeah, that was a, a gift um, to work on that. I feel like, you know, and talking to you as well, you have such like a lovely uh, spirit. Um, and I feel like you're really going to have an amazing career if you can now go back and talk to like a younger you that was starting off like in this industry what would you tell yourself Ooh. <laughs> i'd be like don't just chill no. just chill and enjoy the moment that's like actually what i'm having to tell myself right now um mm -hmm. it's so easy even when you're training, before you even try to get in the industry, if you choose to train, right, and study this craft, it is so easy to try to think years ahead. And when I get this moment or when I get that, that you, I, there's some moments that I kind of don't remember. And I would just be like, girl, just, it'll take care of you. You're good. You're taken care of. Like, just right. enjoy each moment for what it is. Because you only got here. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what we got. Tomorrow's not promised, so. Okay. Um, and before I do let you go, um, I believe when a sequel, I don't know if a sequel has been announced, but, um, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a sequel and a lot of stuff. Can we expect to see your character come back? Hey, man, when they announce it, we, uh, you and I will be the first to know. <laughs> yeah, <perfect. laughs> well, I hope so. Again, I really did enjoy right. your character in the film, um, and I really can see your career taking off and you're, you doing amazing things, so. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good one.